when creating a vector, all the sequence of elements must exist or be of the same data type. Uh, meaning if you create a sequence of elements that are numeric, then the data type has to be numeric. Similarly, if you create a vector made up of characters, then all the sequence of elements must be of string type. Okay. So in other words, we are saying vectors are homogeneous. Okay. Now, what happens if we decide to mix these objects, right? Let's say we mix uh, character and numeric vectors. Okay. So what R will do, will automatically convert that uh, based on this, uh, what we call coercion rules, right? At the top here, we have character, which takes priority over numeric, energy, and logical. So if you mixed character and numeric, numeric will be converted into a character. Similarly, if you mix numeric and logical, uh, logical will be converted into numeric, okay? Uh, this type of coercion is called implicit coercion, right? Where R just automatically converts converts that based on these coercion rules. Let's look at an example here of an implicit uh, coercion. We want to mix numeric and character vectors, right? So we go ahead and create a mix here. We have numeric, and we have second element and third element is of text um, or other character, okay? So let's create that. That's an object there. Let's create it over here as well. Uh, as you can see here, all of them, um, have been converted, right? If we, yeah, so you can see here, uh, the numeric has been converted into a string, you know, automatically it's just added the double quotation mark. And we can check the class of this object. You can see it's already character, okay? Uh, let's try another example here. We wanna combine numeric and logical vector, right? So uh, if you recall uh, logical vector, can exist in two states, true or false, right? So true will just be converted to one and false will be conduct, converted to zero, right? So here we have a logical uh, element and the rest is numeric, right? So if we go to the quotient rules here, or the hierarchy here of priority, you can see logical um, is at the bottom here. So it will be converted into numeric. So let's go ahead and do that. So we execute that and you can see now true has been converted to one. Okay. The other method is explicit coercion, where we have control. We can use these functions to actually convert uh, our vectors to what we want. So for example, here, we create an integer vector from zero to five, for example, and five to seven, right? So let's create that object first. And then we can use this. So if we just type uh, as dot, uh, if I could come here, as dot, you'll see a list of uh, different functions that you can use, right? So we can convert this to character. We execute that and you see we have double quotation mark. We convert that to logical. You can see the first one uh, because it's zero equates to false. And then anything above one or greater than one, it just equal to true, okay? And lastly here, we can also coerce vectors into a matrix and we run that can see that uh, we have a one-dimensional uh, matrix, okay? So be sure to check the other videos uh, on vectors.